Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem based on the torque equation of the DC motor. This is part 1. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the problem. A 250 voltage 4 pole wave wound DC series motor has 182 conductor on its armature. So, this problem based on the series motor. It is wave connected. 4 poles available, 250 voltage and 182 conductors are available in the armature. It has armature and series field resistance of 0.75 ohm each. The motor takes a current of 40 ampere. Estimate its speed and gross torque developed if it has a flex per pole of 25 milliweber. So, this is the problem given. We will see the data. So, what are the given data? The voltage is given 250 voltage, terminal voltage. Number of pole equal to 4. 4 poles are available. It is given wave connected. The winding is wave connected. If it is wave connected means number of parallel path always equal to 2. Parallel path is number of uh, pa parallel path is always 2. Then number of conductors is 782. 782 conductors are available. Then RA armature resistance is 0.75 ohm. Then series field resistance is 0.75 ohm. Both are equal. Same. Then load current is 40 ampere. The flux is given 25 milliweber. Milli means 10 to the power minus 3. So, 25 into 10 to the power minus 3 Weber, right? 25 milli Weber. The question is, we need to find the speed of the motor as well as gross torque developed in the motor. So, this is coming under series motor. Now, we will see the equation. So, the back EMF available in the DC motor is EB equal to P pi N divided by 60 into P by A. This number of pole flux, number of conductor divided by 60 into number of P, P by A, number of uh, pole into A. So, the back EMF is nothing but Z, not a P. Number of conductor flux into speed divided by 60 into number of pole divided by number of parallel path. By rearranging this, we can able to find the expression for speed. That is nothing but this 60 into A is multiplied in the numerator. Z, pi and P is multiplied in the denominator of the left hand side. So, that N equal to EB into 60 into A divided by P pi Z. So, this is the expression for the speed, speed of the DC motor. So in that, this all these values are available. Number of parallel path, number of poles flux and number of conductors available, but EB is not given, back EMF not available. So, we need to find the back EMF. Once you calculated the back EMF, we are, we are able to find the speed of the motor. So, the back EMF of series motor is nothing but EB equal to V minus IA into RA plus RSC. In series motor, armature and field are connected in series. So, that we can take it as a RA plus RSC, both are added together, right. So, V minus IA of RA plus RSC and the load current is given as 40 ampere because of series motor, armature current, series field current, load current, all are equal. The same current is flowing through the armature field as well as the load. So, that we can take IA equal to ISC equal to IL equal to 40 ampere. Now, we can calculate this EB, EB back M of EB equal to V minus IA into RA plus RSC. The applied voltage is 250 minus IA is 40 ampere. The RA and RSC is here, both are equal 0.75 ohm. So, by simplifying this expression, what we got? 190 voltage. The back M of equal to 190 voltage. So, with this back M of we are able to find the speed of the motor by using this equation. We already rewrite re re the equation. So, based on that we can go. So, the back M of E is 190 into 60 
number of parallel path equal to 2 because of wave connected. The number of pole equal to 4. The flux is given 25 milliweber. So, 25 into 10 to the power minus 3. The number of conductors 782, not 182, is 782. So, by simplifying this, what we got? 291.56 rpm. The speed of the DC motor is 291.56 rpm. Now, speed is calculated. Now, we will go to the armature torque. There is a gross torque developed in the DC motor. So, the formula for gross torque is or armature torque equal to 0.159 into pi z i a into p by a. So, this is a constant 0.159 into flux number of conductors armature current into number of pole divided by number of parallel path. So, that is equal to 0.159 into the flux is given 25 milliweber 25 into 10 to the power minus 3 into number of conductor is 782. Then the armature current is 40 ampere armature current series field current and load current all are equal. Then number of pole equal to 4 divided by number of the parallel path equal to 2. So, by simplifying this what we got 248.678 Newton meter. The unit for the, the torque is Newton meter. So, from the given data we calculated the torque also. So, in this problem this is based on the DC series motor. Based on the given data we calculated the speed of the motor as well as gross torque developed in the motor. Subscribe the channel for more video and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.